Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to enable inline editing for your reports within Salesforce. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop into a report. Either you can search over here in the three by three or just click on it. In the tab, it's gonna to get to the exact same place. You can, or from here, I'm gonna go into a basic opportunity report just to show you how to enable this. So there should be like a enable inline editing up here button. I am going to go to setup and in the quick find, I'm going to search for reports and dashboard settings. And then it should be one of the first few options for the user interface. I'm going to go enable inline editing and it's only for lightning. So if you are using classic, then unfortunately you cannot use this feature. So let's go ahead and save it. All right, let's go back over to our opportunity report and hit refresh. All right, and as you can see now the enable field editing button has been enabled for us. So I'm gonna click on it and we should be able to come in here and we can edit in line. So if I wanted to see what fields can I edit? Um, I can edit closed dates, created dates, I cannot. So anything that has a lock button is going to be locked due to field level security. So you might have to go into those, but we can edit the accounts, the opportunities stage. That could be really important for you, depending on what kind of things you want to see on your report. But with that being said, that is how you go ahead and enable inline editing on your reports within Salesforce. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at EmilyCallMBA. You can check out the courses down below in the description or on salesforceupskill.com. Check out the blog at salesforceemily.com and I'll catch you guys in the next one.